Hello, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Welcome to your May horoscope. Go ahead and find your sun, moon, or rising sign to see what's coming your way for the month of May. If you'd like to book a reading with me or if you want something more personal, go ahead and book me at mediumisbello.com. Everything you need is in my description box below. All right, so let's get started with Cancer. So let's get five cards for what's coming for Cancer for the month of May. Okay, we have the Page of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, Hermit card reverse, the Three of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Cups. So first of all, I'm seeing that there, okay, May has to do with a lot of emotions, and especially I can feel someone with a lot of resistance to what's going on. So the Page of Wands in reverse is about someone who is not willing to or unable to express their truth. This is often dealing with someone who's afraid that they're going to get judged if they talk about what they really want to say. The Eight of Cups shows me that someone here is not willing to walk away from a situation. The Hermit card in reverse, this is someone who is feeling out of their comfort zone or feeling uncomfortable. Um, three of Wands in reverse and then the Five of Cups. So I feel like this is dealing with someone that disappointed you and you want to tell them, you want to let them know what's going on, maybe that you don't know where the future is headed because of how things are in the moment, but I don't see you speaking your truth or I don't see them speaking their truth. So remember that since this is a general energy, it could be that it's someone towards you or you towards someone else. But essentially, I'm, I'm seeing someone who's dealing with um, some feelings of sadness and there's this need to talk it out. But whoever this is, whoever this is, they don't want to talk about it. But they also don't want to walk away from the situation or set boundaries. And therefore, what that's doing is creating more of a conflict. Remember that this May, it's going to be really important as much as possible to try your best to speak your mind, especially if you want things to change. If you're okay with just going through the motions, then that's fine. But the way that I see it, you don't like how the situation is going. You don't like where the future is going. You don't want this to be the future of that relationship, that friendship, that um, relationship with family member. Um, this is dealing with emotions, so I don't feel like it's work necessarily. But even if it has something to do with work, there would be someone you're disappointed in and you just don't know if you see a future with them. So it could even be talking about partnerships, right? Someone here just feels like, I don't know, you know, I don't really know if I see a future with you. I don't really know if we're going to work out together. But again, if you're not going to say something about it, then the problem does not get addressed. So the recommendation to you is really just to try your best to talk it out with this person. Um, or if you're super sure that you don't want to talk about it, you don't even want to bring it up then understand that maybe it's time to call it quits or it's time to find an alternative, right? This could be having a new business partner or if you're dating someone, then it's probably about reevaluating that relationship because it's like, if you don't talk about it, nothing's gonna change. Okay, what else is coming to Cancer for this month of May? So I know that this situation will definitely pull you out of your comfort zone. But remember that there's positive things that could come out of this. See, the love card is here. So I do feel that for a lot of you, this is going to be talking about love. The consistency or constancy card tells me that it's been like this for a while and you just don't see things changing. And that's made you feel hopeless. Essentially, the prison card makes you feel like, OK, we're stuck. You know, so you're feeling stuck in a situation, but it seems like the only way to get out of it is either to walk away or to talk about it so that maybe things can be addressed and things can be changed, even if I know that it's a little uncomfortable to do so. OK, the hope card is here. So that tells me that there's definitely hope for things to still work out here. But again, with the sweetheart or the main character card here, you are the main character in this story. And it's essentially up to you if you know you're going to do something about it. Right. That's really what it's wanting to tell you. Um, OK. So other things, see the quarrel card is here when it comes to the month of May. Um, to be honest, and I know, I know you guys are probably like, I don't want to deal with this. 
I get it, but this is the main thing that's coming up. I was trying and I was like, you know, is there anything else that's coming for Cancer for the month of May? But essentially with the Quarrel card, this is Mars and Cancer and this is Venus and Pisces. Here's what I see, okay? There are people here that are dealing with very different personalities. Um, by the way, some of you may be dealing with another water sign or it could be someone who's a little passive aggressive. This is giving me the feeling of like, Two people in a relationship who are people pleasers or people in a friendship who are people pleasers. And, you know, one person's really irritated, but they don't want to talk about it because they're like, I don't want to upset you even further. Here's the thing. If you can find a way to let go of those feelings and genuinely be okay with your situation, then you probably don't really need to fix anything. But if it's really bothering you that much and you're kind of stuck in this feeling of negativity because of what's going on, then consider that it may be time to just address the situation the quarrel card is here we want to avoid the situation becoming more tense than how it is right now the submission card also tells me that this is about letting go um, or letting go of control or letting go of the need to be right you choose whatever fits best for you right whatever is a solution that you can genuinely be okay with as much as possible okay so that's what i'm seeing for you guys cancer i know it's going to be a little bit of an emotional month but here's the thing the sooner you address it, the sooner you're going to know what's on the other side. Because maybe things are actually going to work out, but you won't know if you don't do anything about it now. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Um, if you want to go and check out your sun, moon, and rising sign, go to the timestamps or the other videos I've posted. If you want to book a more personal reading with me, go and book me at mediumisabella.com. Um, the link is somewhere here. And go ahead to your description box as well. And I'll see you next month. Okay? Bye. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your May horoscope. So um, let's get started. <laughs> okay, Scorpio, let's get five cards for what's coming your way for the month of May. Okay, the world card is in reverse, four of wands, strength card, five of swords in reverse, and the temperance card. This is a month where things are all about patience. And I kind of feel like if there if there is some form of a relationship or friendship or if you were having some conflicts in the past or the recent past rather don't worry because you're going to have the chance to fix it and work it out this time around but with the five of swords here this tells me that this includes being willing to let go of the need to be right okay this this is the feeling of letting go of pettiness and instead focusing on the fact that you really care about this person or that you really want to make peace with them that's definitely going to lead to a reconciliation a reconnection or a better kind of emotional uh, relationship um, but here's the thing okay this is about making it last all right so what may shows me for you scorpio is that there will be a lot of opportunities to work on your relationships but it's up to or so also the four of wands is also your home so this is an opportunity to work on home home repairs moving to a new place as well uh, the strength card that's leo energy that's also your creativity and self-expression speaking your mind um you know having fun the temperance card talks about spirituality and long distance travels as well. There are going to be a lot of like opportunities for you to do something that makes you happy. But with the world card in reverse here, this tells me that it's up to you if you're going to make it last. Is this going to be a new cycle that ends as soon as it starts? Or is this going to be a new cycle that's going to last a while? You know, so an example of this would be if you're going to reconcile with someone next week are you guys gonna settle into poor communication styles again therefore ruining the chance or the opportunity to get back together or are you going to try your best to be patient and find better ways of communicating so you don't have to retract to kind of um, unhealthy communication behaviors now um with the world card in reverse here as well this is about a new cycle okay hold on but um there's a bit of unfinished business here. Okay. A new cycle with someone or something, but there's unfinished business. Here's what I feel. Okay. You're going to have the opportunity to work things out along the way. Some of you are going into like a literal new opportunity. Again, could be moving. This could be um, a partnership. This could be a new career opportunity or like leadership stepping up for some kind of opportunity. 
but um okay hold on let me okay so you're not going to be fully prepared is what they're saying okay and you're never going to be fully pre pre prepared but that's okay because that's how life is you know um okay i saw this kind of funny tweet at some point in the past when they said um you only need to spend like five minutes with the ceo of a company to kind of realize that imposter syndrome that you have imposter syndrome or that it, you know you actually are a lot better than you think you are and it's not about demeaning anybody but rather about the fact that we're all just trying to figure our shit out here on earth and that the people that you think are super experts at things they're probably just figuring things out as well and sometimes it takes getting to know someone that you really admire and respect to kind of realize they're human just like you are and it's time to stop putting people on a pedestal because at the same time you are just as capable of whatever they were capable of doing if you just put in the hard work or the effort or the time right and that's what I'm seeing here. There's an opportunity for you to step up or to do something. And it's a little scary for you. And you're over here kind of worried about like, oh my gosh, like you're quitting before you even started because you're feeling like you're unprepared. Here's what I feel. If you've done your research and you really want to take this opportunity, just do it anyway, because you're going to surprise yourself with how prepared you're, you actually are or how quick to think fast or like to adapt to the situation you actually are um if you just took the chance okay scorpio so let's see what else is coming for you for the month of may we have the death card the jealousy card the house card we also have the loss card and then we have the lover card so um like i said there is something in relation to houses or homes here for some of you now, the death card and the, the jealousy card, to me, this is the end of jealousy and the end of the feelings of loss, okay? Someone here is sick and tired of feeling like everybody else is getting what they want and you are not, right? So you may be feeling the sense of like, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't sit around and wait for something to come through anymore. I want to make things happen. And I see you trying to do that because you're putting an end to something and moving on. You're going through a rebirthing process this month of May, uh, Scorpio. And it's, I just heard Taurus. I was going to say Taurus, but I wonder if some of you will have strong Taurus Scorpio placements. So that really makes sense, right? It's Taurus season, but it's also like Mercury retrograde season. So definitely it's a lot of thinking and reflecting, okay? Um, okay, here's what I feel. Now, the house card and the lover card is here, right? The lover card is also the main character card. So this can either be you or someone you're dealing with. Here's what I feel, okay? Do not self-sabotage your relationships because actually some people really want to be with you and you just have to give them a chance to show you. And if, they, if you give them a chance and they show you that they failed, well, then there's your answer, right? Now, the home card here and the, the lover card, to me, what that feels like is you have the capability to achieve stability in whatever it is you're, the new chapter you're undertaking. But you may have to go through a loss in order to get there so this reminds me of you know you have this new thing you want to invite into your life so the jealousy card is about coveting or is that even how you say that word coveting being jealous wanting being envious of what another person has right so i see that it's like if you're willing to part ways with something that is not working out for you now, you will have the capability to achieve an opportunity you actually really like. Okay, Scorpio, so let's get two Oracle cards for you guys, okay? Um, first, we have the Organization card. So with the Organization card, what that tells me is that it's really only a matter of getting things started. Just take your time because literally you're going to get something out of this. Um, but like I said, it's just about getting things started and at least taking the first step forward. With the Speculation card, um, Scorpio is actually the house of speculation and investments in astrology. So what this tells me is some of you may be dealing with investments or again, big purchases. I would say because of the Mercury retrograde, definitely like take your time to decide and think things through. Sure. Yes. But also be willing to take that step. If you really recognize a good opportunity and you know, in your heart that it's like, this is great. You know, I should take it, take the risk. Okay. Do your research and feel it out and take the risk if you really feel that it's like, yep, I need to do this, okay? 
because I feel like it's going to pay off. I feel like it might not pay off immediately, but it will definitely pay off over time. Jupiter in Cancer is also here. Okay, so um, I believe Jupiter is exalted in Cancer. So this just makes me feel like there's a lot of good luck that's coming your way. If you just take the risk, that's just what I keep hearing. Just take the risk. Just do it, you know? Um, especially with the crab here, I kind of see you being, you know, feeling a little bit like, I don't know, should I do it? Like you're a little hesitant, but I really feel that, like I said earlier, if you're willing to let some things go in order to make space for something else in your life, you're going to see a lot of positive things coming your way. All right, Scorpio. So go ahead and look at your sun, moon and rising sign if you want to check out more. Um, of your horoscopes for the month of May. If you would like a, to book a personal reading with me, maybe you want something that's a little more personal to your situation, go and book me at mediumisabella.com. Everything you need is in my description box below, and I'll see you next month, okay? Bye. Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your predictions for the month of May. Let's get five cards for you then. Okay, all right. Already with the water signs, okay. What's coming to Pisces for the month of May? Well, the Ten of Pentacles definitely tells me that there's abundance coming your way. Um, but let's break this down, okay? Page of Cups, King of Cups reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse. There is um, a situation that there's an, a situation with someone where there are some issues because emotions are getting in the way and we need to take control of that, okay? Three of Swords tells me that this talks about um, past heartbreaks here's what i see okay <clears throat> excuse me i'm seeing two things at the same time one this could be career issues for some of you two this could be um issues with someone you care about because you don't know where this relationship is going in the long term okay so with the page of cups what that tells me is that um this is someone that you definitely have an emotional attachment to, or like I said, emotions are getting in the way. Maybe it's personal beliefs. Maybe it's just the way that you see things, but it, things are getting a little bit heated because people feel very strongly about this issue. Maybe it's just an issue that's close or dear to your heart. Now with the King of Cups in reverse, someone is emotionally detached here. So someone is not feeling the love or someone here feels like the other person is unfair and does not see things from their perspective now three of pentacles in reverse this is not working in the moment and something needs to change in order to make the situation um kind of work essentially or if we don't get a handle on the situation it's going to cause issues for your job or it, it may cause an issue for someone else's job or if you're collaborating with this person then that project might not work out the ten of pentacles shows me that this is something that is either a long-term partnership or something that has the potential to be long term we want to find a way to let go of old heartbreaks and resentments so that we are not going to carry this energy long term. So if I'm, you know, just to break it down, just to like make it, I guess, summarized, two people fighting or two people disagreeing with each other because someone feels like the other person does not care or is being unfair. Um, however, this is, it's going to affect your relationship in the long term if you guys are not able to forgive each other now or find a way to agree, compromise, or have a better kind of way of exerting or releasing these frustrations now, okay? So um, essentially what I'm seeing is it's really about, uh, well, I am hearing that it is really about communication um, but it's also about trying to see things from an objective perspective, because like I said, for some of you, emotions are too high and that's not allowing you guys to see the issue from a bird's eye perspective. And you kind of need that right now. What else is coming for Pisces for the month of May? Yup. Misunderstanding card came out. The hope card and the constancy card came out. That came out for like another water sign earlier. The widow card is here. Some of you are dealing with someone that's already an ex. And you're like, is this going to, are we going to get back together? But the problem here is that, okay, you know how like if you have several bad experiences with one person, even if you know in your heart that they're a good person, you won't be able to see them another way because the memories are burned too deep. Unless 
you give them time and you you've spent some time apart then maybe you don't remember those memories as much and you're willing to give things a new perspective right or a fresh you're willing to look at it through fresh eyes that's what i'm seeing here someone here you have like a lot of history with this person like of course you're not going to be able to just forgive and let go easily all willy-nilly because you need to kind of let go of something that's been residing deep within yourself or maybe they're the ones that need to let go of that it's like just i don't know i don't know what the situation is but it's like someone is like feels very 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 strongly about this you know um so here's what i see the constancy or consistency card here shows me that it is about trying to talk things out but i don't think the communication is really going to help that much right now so if you're dealing with someone and it's an ex and you like want them back are you sure you really want them back right now are you willing to forgive are they willing to forgive because like sometimes we ask and we manifest these chances to get back together and we want it so soon that it's like okay when it arrives are you ready for it like are you ready to let go like in order to have a fresh start you know and to be honest i did say communication earlier i think it would help a little bit but what i'm seeing here are two people who are committed to misunderstanding each other and until that changes nothing's going to change here okay so either someone is willing to compromise and they're willing they're very much willing to be to see things from another person's perspective or we consider this time to let this go okay obviously this is going to differ for every single situation some people will be more open to accepting another person's perspective than others but that's the general energy i'm seeing here i also feel like i need to tell some of you this is about a message from someone that passed on some of you had a misunderstanding with someone before they passed away and that's been sitting heavily on your heart just know that they forgive you or that they're sorry just know that it's like when we pass away when we're in the spirit world it doesn't stick with us okay because when we pass away we lose our sense of ego so the things that mattered to us as humans the things that we held so strongly to and that we were so willing to get into arguments with people about they don't really come with us in the afterlife instead we kind of lose that sense of ourselves and we're like okay i i get that this is who i am my essence as a soul but i don't need to defend it to anybody else because why literally what's the purpose right and so if there was someone that you had a misunderstanding with and they passed away just know that like it's all good for them you don't have to feel regret that that was your last moments together understand that they have like kind of stepped into the path of forgiveness towards that or at least easing any feelings of um sadness towards that disappointment and that they really are just focused on their life in the afterlife let me get some oracle cards for you guys pisces for the month of may first we have the card of adaptability yup and we also have the card of exaltation in reverse so the exaltation card is all about acquisition of materials it's also about feeling very comfortable and safe in your space okay this is um okay so what this is reminding you is that it's really important to ask yourself if this situation still makes you feel comfortable or if there is a way you can be comfortable with your decision with this person so if you decide to let go of something you really believe in for this person can you truly live with yourself if you can then okay right but if you cannot then that's kind of a gauge as to what you need to change adaptability card it is about being adaptable and being willing at least to hear what the other person has to say but adaptability doesn't necessarily mean that you have to let go of who you are this is where you get to decide what which arguments are worth it which stances you're supposed to take which principles you have to fight for and which ones are like okay like i can see how that's a gray area and i'm okay with just adapting to the situation right so that's what i see for you guys pisces for the month of may i absolutely appreciate you and i will see you next time go and book me at medium as well.com if you want a more personal reading and go ahead and scroll to your sun moon and rising if you would like to check out your other horoscopes i'll see you next month okay bye